Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland. And we are here today with Charlie and Denise Toyle, who are parents who've sent their kids to the School of Rock. Now, uh, Charlie, how long ha has your family been sending one kid after another to School of Rock? <laughs> Looking back on it, Thomas, I think it's been about five and a half years. It started first with uh, our daughter, Lola, who at the time was eight, right around eight years old. And she heard about it through a friend and she wanted to do it. And she jumped right in and, and started taking lessons. Next thing you know, she's performing on the stage at the Rock Hall. And we we're all amazed going, what's going on here? And then Shortly after that, her brother, her older brother Larson, he, he saw how much fun it was, so he joined. And uh, it's been a lot of fun for us as parents over yeah. the last five years. It's been exciting, and uh, we always look forward to the shows, and the kids have just absolutely loved it. So, Denise, what keeps you guys coming back after five years? I mean, that. That just says it all right there. You, you, you have a great experience. You keep coming back. What is it in your mind that your kids are getting out of it? Well, I mean, I, I think, again, because there are lessons with it, and it's also then they get to rehearse with the band. I mean, it's a great experience where they, they go in, they have their own personal lesson with their instructor for vocals or guitar or what have you, and then they come together for three hours once a week and practice as a band. And... I mean, again, as Charlie had mentioned, the end result, those shows that we go to, that's what keeps everybody coming back because you're it's it's amazing to see what they can produce from these from these kids. Right. And Charlie, what what do you think your kids are getting out of it themselves? I mean, we know they're learning music, but there's so much more to it in terms of confidence and self esteem, ex expression. I mean, what do you think? Absolutely. Um, yeah, our kids are both um, are pretty confident kids, um, but they've this has only enhanced their um, ability to get in front of people without any fear. It amazes me every time. Um, my daughter's a little bit shyer, but he, when she goes up there, it's like she opens up and becomes a, a, almost a, a stage presence up there. And then my son is, he's progressed. Um, he's never been shy about going up there, but he's, certainly progressed through. He's just very calm and uh, natural up there. And he just, he really gets into the music and, uh, and the experience uh, of, of being on stage. Um, you know, the one thing our kids haven't done is they don't play a lot of sports. Um, they've went more of the musical artistic path. And to me, this being in a band is like being on a sports team. You know, it's building that, uh, you know, working with other people and, and learning to adjust to other personalities and and learning from them and growing. And it's uh, been a great experience for them. And I, I to, one thing to add to that is because, the, you know, it's um, the school of Westlake or the school of Strongsville, there's lots of different people coming from all these schools around. Right. So they also get to meet people outside of their school which, you know, they develop these relationships with those, you know, those folks. And so it just kind of expands their, their network of people that they know. Right. Talk about um, the, the lessons themselves, because I know this past year, because of COVID, they've really made a, an attempt to pivot at School of Rock and they're masking and they're distancing and then you're waiting outside while people come in and, and they're limiting the number of people. Talk about, Denise, what what you've seen and 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 your impression of, of how they've taken to this whole thing. Yeah, I, I, you know, I have seen, I've been in le the lessons before myself and been in there with the, you know, one-on-one -on -one with the, um, the instructor. But ha the way that they've done it with doing it through Zoom um, and having the kids in their rooms with their instrument. Now, now the drummers do go in and they, they have their lessons in person, but everybody else, vocal, guitar, bass, um, keyboards, they're doing it virtually. And I think it works really well. I love the fact that um, I get to hear Larson, you know, sing when he's doing his voice lesson. That's always kind of a fun little thing to, mm -hmm. to hear him either playing the bass or doing his voice lesson as, it, as, as it's happening. And Charlie, I know that the, the, 
concert performances themselves, which are sort of the culmination of, of their all their lessons, that's the cool part. You guys get to go see them in person. Everybody gets to see them. Those have also changed because now they can't do them in the cool clubs where they used to, like the Beachland Ballroom or Brothers Lounge uh, or even the Rock Hall. Uh, but they are doing them outdoors in the parking lot or at a golf club. What's that been like? So, so far we only had one experience with it and they did it um, at a really nice golf course uh, patio and they spread out and um, they, they did a great job. I mean, it's been, you know, the whole COVID thing has been a very difficult thing for a lot of companies, a lot of people to man to deal with, uh, of course, but um, they really did a good job of getting the kids up there um, and get, letting them perform because they've been working since the end of January and, and the COVID hit right in the middle of this. And while they were supposed to do the show in May, uh, May or June, you know, it got pushed back to August and, you know, you really wanted the kids to have, especially the seniors this year, they really wanted to have a, a final show. And there was a lot of excitement. You know, I could see the kids were really excited about the show and there was a lot of enthusiasm and, um, you know, they did, they did a wonderful job with it and it was great to see the show. Yeah. Denise, you mentioned that you also took part in the adult program as a singer yourself. That's kind of interesting. Where did that come from? Were you inspired by seeing your kids go through it or was it in the back of your mind all along? Yeah. I mean, growing up, I was involved with music and choir um, and I had a lot of friends who were in bands and I was always very, um, you know, I admired them for doing that. And when Lola signed up the first time, of course, Louie being the good salesman that he is, he said, now you do understand that there's there's this adult program, there's the grad school program. And I was like, what? Tell me more. So um, I think I signed up that day and started with the that grad school program. And um, it was awesome. I mean, I've done, I think, four sessions uh, with the grad school program, which is the same thing having the less the personal lesson and then we come together as a band and practice for three hours and put on a show at the end of the season and it's a lot of fun charlie it sounds like uh you're you're the next one right i mean yeah. you feeling left out at all or uh, no actually i feel <laughs> very involved uh, by sitting there and listening and watching and uh carpooling and driving them back and forth but uh, what denise failed to mention is that she after school rock uh, graduate program, she uh, some of the people she met there formed their own band, and uh, they've been performing since 2016. Um, so you know, there's other things that happen, and a lot of a lot of people have actually broken off from the program eventually and started their own bands and yeah. played locally. So I've been I've had the pleasure of enjoying a countless number of shows, either with Denise or the kids. Or, or even going to see other the other students that we've gotten to know and and, and fam, uh, uh, parents of the the kids you know we'll go and see their kids play and it's it's been uh, you know I couldn't have asked for any more it's been so much fun and and they need someone to carry the equipment and be the roadie so you know, <laughs> I am you're, the roadie he is our and, roadie yeah. for Lazy Ted yes, yes I'm yeah. the roadie <laughs> next I understand they're going to be producing a live stream of performances. <laughs> which um, is also a great experience for these kids because that's going to be the future for the near term. So are, are you guys excited about this, Denise? Is this something you're looking forward to? Yeah, I, I absolutely am. I was, I was not feeling well um, this last show, and so I didn't get to go. And I would love to have it be a live stream. That would be awesome. So I'm, I'm very excited for that. Thank you guys so much for taking a few moments here. It, it, it sounds like you're the perfect musical family and, and uh, School of Rock's been great for you guys. Um, so get back to it. Thank you for taking out some time to talk with us and it's been great meeting with you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, Thank thanks, you. Thomas. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from Cool Cleveland. Be well and stay safe.